YouTube, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Jairachi, and thanks, uh, to start off, thank you for 100 subs. Uh, I was wondering what to do to celebrate 100 subs. Should I uh, sing a song? Should I do a giveaway? Well, honestly, I don't really have anything to give away, and I'm not the best singer, so I've decided to make a donation. Uh, on behalf of all of us, uh, I think uh, a donation would be very helpful. And I've decided to donate my first donation to Khan Academy. They were very helpful to me when I was an undergrad. So again, I'm hoping that by giving back, you know, I'm a bit. Anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about my first six months of engineering and what I've learned. I'm not going to talk about uh, what I do necessarily because, you know, it's engineering, there's a lot of uh, confidential, proprietary stuff that I do, and I will try to be as general as possible, but still giving you guys information that would be useful to you. So one of the things I've learned, and I'm still learning, is how to have a proper work-life balance. So you want to leave your work at work. You don't want to bring it home discuss it with your family or friends as much as possible because you know you could be working on something like cutting edge and like something brand new like you know you, your company doesn't want you to like you know spill the beans on that so as much as possible you got to leave that stuff at work and also it's like you come home and like you're already tired you don't even want to think about work so personally uh, what I try to do is I try to keep one-third of my time uh, work-related, and then one-third of my time, um, like, you know, relaxing, uh, catching up on housework, or uh, pursuing hobbies, something for myself. And then one-third of my time sleeping. So that's eight hours each, 24 hours, yay! Uh, but sometimes it's challenging, sometimes I'm tempted to, like, go home and do some research, but I have to keep telling myself, like, hey, they don't pay me to do work at home. I'm gonna get in trouble if I, you know, do some work at home, probably. And, you know, it, it also helps me keep being less distracted at work if I'm doing all my home things at home. So that's one thing I learned, work-life balance. Uh, volunteering is something that I still do, even though I'm not in school anymore, and it's just really, like, fulfilling for me, and even though I've already got a job, I don't really need to, like, impress people anymore. That's actually not true, because, you know, obviously you have to make your resume look nice when you're looking for a job, but you also have to keep updating your resume and keep uh, being active and contributing because you still have to do get promotions and you still have to um, try different assignments. You still might look for a new job even though you already have a job. And it's also just fun <laughs> and you're contributing to people. Um, let's see. Social media? Um, what I've been determined to do is keep my work life and my social life separate so I will not add co-workers to Facebook I will not add friends to LinkedIn there's like separation now obviously there's some exceptions there are co-workers that I was already friends with before I got the job so like I can't just disconnect from one of them that's kind of not fair but I try to limit that as much as possible also, like, when I'm not at work, I don't wear my badge around, I don't wear anything with my company logo. Like, my clothes are pretty plain. <laughs> uh, so that's another thing. Um, clothes. Uh, business casual is not as tough as I thought it was going to be. Like, I don't have to wear heels because, yeah, I'm in an office, but then I also work in a lab. I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I just wear like a watch. Um, I've learned how to like pick fabrics that look professional but they also look casual at the same time. Like this is some kind of like a cottony stretchy material 
that it looks good for work, but it also looks good, like, if I go out on a Saturday or something. Also, like, uh, pants, same thing with jeans. You can't wear jeans, but you don't want to wear slacks all the time either. So khakis are pretty good. Also, uh, cotton. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, keep trying to learn in your craft, whether it's computer engineering or music or English or whatever. Like, even though you've got your job already, keep trying to improve. Keep trying to learn. Um, I'm honestly trying to kind of play catch up with uh, my knowledge of engineering because in undergrad, I learned very like theoretical stuff, but then in, um, in industry, I'm kind of filling in my gaps that I didn't quite understand but was able to pass. And I'm also learning how to apply that stuff into real life. And I'm noticing there's also a lot of overlap with different disciplines. So I'm not doing only computer engineering. I'm also having to write lab reports. I'm also having to consider like safety and uh, customers and stuff. So like just be open to learning. Um, that's all the advice I have. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you.